Hello YouTube, my name is Savan12986 and these are my Minecraft adventures. Uh, we're gonna pick up where we left off uh, in the last video of trying to find that one cave that I died a bunch of times. Uh, a couple notes, uh, I looked at my first few videos and realized that they're all really dark. Like at night you can't see anything. I tried increasing that in editing but you know there's nothing I could do. Uh, so what I've done as in the video control panel on my computer, I've increased the gamma, uh, so when it records, it should actually be brighter for you guys. It's a little, it's a little too bright for me personally, um, but it should uh, show up better for you guys, so you can see what I see. And uh, I also switched um, from my area mic to my headphone mic or my headset mic. Uh, that's the one I was using at the beginning of the first video, and then I switched over so you could uh, hear the commentary from Pegasus442. Uh, he's no longer here. It's it's tomorrow for me, uh, so I'm starting another, uh, you know, starting another recording session. And uh, so now I know where my tower is. I watched the videos and I saw uh, this. I'm gonna call it Who Mountain here, uh, and I saw that my the cave was over here past two mountain, so we're going to go exploring over there. So let's uh, get my inventory in order here before we go in there, since I just picked it all up after I died and didn't do anything with it. There we go. So here's the cave we found. Uh, hopefully, you know you you should be able to see this a lot better now. So we're gonna go spelunking. Uh, so like I explained in my last video, you know, placing torches on the right hand side. Ah, uh, again with the disappointments. So yeah, well, you know, like I was saying, placing torches on the right hand side, so I know where I've been. Well, I guess I may as well mine, you know, this iron and this coal here. Uh, Probably cut this and pick up after this is done, because this is a mighty disappointment. I'm going to have to find some better caves, because this is not working out. Like, I want to go on a huge underground journey and get lost and jacked by monsters and things, you know, interesting things for my videos, and so far that has not been working out, so I'll cut it here and pick up later. Alright, welcome back. Uh, just, uh remembered something that I haven't showed you uh, or talked about in my previous videos and I probably should uh, and it's about the uh, the durability of tools uh, if you look in my hotbar right now in the uh, the third slot this is the uh, one of my stone pickaxes and it's got that green bar underneath it that's that means it's got a lot of durability left um, my iron one I haven't used at all so it doesn't have a durability bar yet and my wooden one, if you look down there, it's got a tiny little red bar beneath it. That means it's about to break. So I've probably only got like one or two more uses out of this thing. Yeah, see one more and it should break. Yep, see there it goes, it's gone. There's nothing in my uh, hotbar in that space anymore because it's been used up and it no longer exists. So, just thought I'd share that with you guys. That's, you know, something kind of important to note. And then uh, I'll, I'll pick up when I find a better cave because this... This is kind of lame. Okay, hey guys, I'm back. Uh, went looking for a cave and kind of ran out of time. Uh, as you can see, it's nighttime outside. Uh, but I got to thinking. I'm going to show you guys uh, something about doors. Uh, and uh, how to make pressure plates. So when you walk inside, you don't have to close the door behind you. Uh, so what you're going to need... Um, currently smelting the iron. Uh, actually, it's done smelting. Uh, I collected the iron from that cave. Uh, but what you're going to need is a furnace and some cobblestone. Uh, one pressure plate takes three uh, stone. Uh, and to make stone, uh, you cook cobblestone in the furnace. Um, and stone uh, looks exactly like, like the naturally occurring stone. So all the, the stone in the walls, like this stone right here, it's going to look exactly like that. Uh, so we're going to get three of these and then I'm going to show you how to make a pressure plate uh, because with the pressure plate you can put a pressure plate on the floor and it will uh, trigger the door to close when you step on it or open actually so if you're inside you know you can be walking out and it'll open the door automatically and if you 
if you're running in from a monster, you won't have to stop and turn around behind you. You step on the pressure plate while you're coming in, and that'll close it automatically. Uh, later on, I may show you how to uh, produce doors that, like double doors that open and close at the same time. Uh, that requires redstone, but uh, once we get some of that, I'll show you. So this is this is the recipe for uh, pressure plate. It's just three pieces of stone horizontal and produces a pressure plate. Uh, you can also do it with uh, wood. Um, something to note about the differences between uh, stone and wood pressure plates. Uh, stone pressure plates are only triggered uh, by the uh, character and monsters, uh, but wooden pressure plates can be triggered by anything. So if you like throw down like, say I, I had this uh, this cooked pork on my hot bar, and I threw it down and it landed on the pressure plate, that would activate a wooden pressure plate, but it won't do anything to stone. So you can see now that this has the, uh, by placing this down, it made the door open. Oop, I accidentally ate that. Uh, hmm, that's going to be a problem. I'm going to have to put an inverter on this. Uh, yeah, that's not going to be good. Okay, so this is, uh, we're going to have to figure something else out to do with that. Uh, the way uh, pressure plates work is kind of weird. Uh, depending on the state they're in, uh, they either count as on or off. And doors uh, react differently. Yeah, see, this door works the way you would expect it to. But when you place it on that one, it doesn't. Uh, it depends on which side of the block the door is uh, placed on. So if it's on the uh, the left edge... Uh, it, like from the inside viewing it on the left edge, it reacts backwards the way you would expect it to, which is kind of why it's complicated to make doors open and close at the same time when they're double doors. Uh, so, say I'm, you know, it works for walking out. And then say I'm, you know, running in from a monster, which, there's a spider up there. So say I'm walking in from running in from a monster. I don't have to turn around and close the door by stepping on the pressure plate. It activates, turns on, and then turns off. And when it turns off, it closes the door behind you, uh, which can be really handy. You can also do it with uh, buttons. Uh, buttons are made, uh, I believe, from clean stone as well. It's just it's two, or is it on top of each other? Yeah, there you go. It's two, uh, two pieces of stone on top of each other, and that produces a button. These can only be made with stone, though. So you can put the button right there. It's kind of hard to see. If I put it on something else, it'd be easier to see because uh, it's the same color as stone. But you press the button, and it works you know, just like the pressure plates do, uh, except you actually have to hit it. So as soon as it's day out, I'm going to go collect some wood and build a boat. And I'll show you guys how to build a boat so we can go exploring that place I found. Uh, it's a really nice mountain area looking thing. Uh, and it's actually really close to the spawn point. So in case I die, I uh, I shouldn't lose my stuff. I'm hoping there's going to be caves over there. So, uh, I will join you as soon as this night is done. Okay, so it's, uh, just about daytime now. Um, in fact, it may actually be daytime. I can't really tell. It's way too bright on my monitor for me to tell. Uh, nighttime looks about as bright as daytime does with the gamma turned up this high for me, but I have to, so you guys can see at night. Uh, so we're gonna go out and, uh, collect some wood and then build the boat. And I can hear spiders all over the top of my house. Come on. Come on. Eh, yeah, guess there's not one up there. Uh, so... We'll go down here. Ow. Oh, crap. Oh, thank God he's stuck. That would have been very bad. Um. Oh, so creatures that normally die in the daylight, like skeletons and zombies, if they're hiding under a tree, they're technically in the shade, and then they don't burst into flame. So if I can draw him out into the daylight, come on, come on. You know you want to. Come on. Fine, I'll dig you out. There you go. Boom. Ow. Would you get over here? I'm trying to demonstrate to the peoples of YouTube that you burst into flame. Ow. 
He's a good shot. And there's a Ooh. creeper. Ow. Over there. I'll handle the creeper and then try and get him to burst into flames. Don't explode, don't explode, don't explode. Hmm. Okay, so that's something new. Uh, well, not the exploding. Uh, but in the alpha, uh, if you got far enough away from a creeper, they would stop expanding. Like, you, if you notice, they expand just a little bit while they're hissing. Uh, they would stop expanding and go back down to their normal size and not explode. So it must be new in the beta that they don't do that anymore. You know, fine. I'm just going to kill you and cut down the tree. More pork chops. Oops. Uh, you can get hit by your own arrows. Sometimes they will bounce back off of a monster and hit you, and you will take damage from them. I'm not exactly sure how that works, um, but it does, so be aware of it. Okay, so we got a little bit of wood now. Uh, I'm gonna try and climb back up to my house. I really should find a better spot to build a house, because this is... Incredibly inaccessible. Hey, a pumpkin! Which reminds me, I said I was going to go collect pumpkins in the last video, but here's one randomly. So, yeah, this is, uh, this is a pumpkin. Uh, they happen naturally ever since the Halloween update. Uh, and yeah, you can, uh, you can collect pumpkins. And, you know, you can also wear them as a helmet. And then you got the, like, the spooky jack-o'-lantern uh, overlay on your head. Uh, but you can also uh, use pumpkins and make jank uh, I can't speak jack o' lanterns out of them, uh, and they're incredibly bright. They're brighter than torches. Um, I think they're as bright as uh, light stone, which is uh, like a stone that happens in the Nether, and that's the brightest block in the game. So they would be equally bright. I th I'm pretty sure they might be equally brighter one one unit less. But what you do is you take a pumpkin, you place it in the crafting area, and you place a torch underneath it. That produces a jack-o'-lantern. So now, you know, I can go out here and place this jack-o'-lantern here. And at night, he's going to, you know, light up this whole area uh, so monsters can't spawn there. So, alright, now to... Not to build a, a boat. So we're going to make some wood. Boats are made out of wood. Uh, and then you just... Uh, nope, that makes a bowl. Uh, it's got to be... Yeah, there we go. So this is the recipe for a boat. Uh, you know, like I've said before, it doesn't have to be... centered or anything. It just has to be the correct orientation and the correct pattern. So this makes a boat. So we're going to go out uh, over to where I saw that place and get in our boat and try and go over there. Hey, pigs. Hello, pigs. Gonna try and collect some, some ham or some bacon, pork chops, whatever. Because you can never have enough pork chops. Okay. Should probably take these back inside. But I'm not going to. Yeah, as, uh, Harold or Kumar, either, I don't remember, either Harold or Kumar in the movie, Harold and Kumar go to White Castle, said, <laughs> uh, you want to go back, dude? No way, we've gone too far. So, yeah, we're not going back to, uh, that mountain over there, if you saw way off in the distance, that's where we're heading. Like, my spawn area is, like, right around here somewhere. Uh, and, uh, we're going over there. Because that looks interesting, and hopefully there will be some caves. Yeah, like, my spawn area is, like, right here, I think. Because I remember that little overhang thing. 